Hi, this is Jeremy with the Practical IT Channel. Tonight, I wanted to take a few moments and talk about protocols and how it relates to different operating systems talking to each other over a network. I recently kickstarted a new series on Open Media Vault 5, and given the feedback, I felt it necessary to cover this topic and hopefully bring some understanding to the topics that may get covered in the course of the Open Media Vault series. So let's kick over to my other screen and we'll take a look at the web whiteboard. All right, so here you've got a typical network, very um, basic looking, and we've got three computers hooked up to a switch a Windows machine, a Mac OS machine, and an Open Media Vault box running Linux. Now, the thing to point out and to be aware of here is that Windows formats its disks in NTFS. Mac OS, depending on the age of your Mac, will use either HFS Plus or APFS. On Linux, you're going to have your drives formatted in ext3, ext4, xfs, zfs, butterfs, and there are others available as well, not all of which are available in Open Media Vault, but available to Linux in general. So you've got differing file systems when you format your hard drives. So how do we get these differing systems to talk to each other? That's where standardized protocols come into place. In this case, we're going to use SMB or SIFS, which all three operating systems support. So this is the default protocol that comes with Windows, but it is also supported under Mac OS for compatibility sake and being a NAS Open Media Vault is going to support it as well as does your typical Linux distribution. So when you are evaluating a network attached storage system especially if you have multiple different operating systems you want to support, you want to make sure that you can tick the box that says SMB or SIFS on that system. And the bottom line here is that all your major network attached storage systems are going to support this protocol. Whether you're running Synology, QNAP, Thekus, Western Digital, FreeNAS, Zigma NAS, you name it, it's going to support this because that's what Windows supports by default. So I hope this short video clears up some confusion and that it makes a little bit more sense to you and hopefully this will make it easier as you go forward to evaluate systems and decide what is going to be able to work together. The key again is finding a common protocol. Now, once you get beyond that part, there may be different configurations that you have to go through, but having the common protocol as a starting point is your key. So that brings us to the end of this topic. I wanted to keep this short and sweet. If you like this video and find it helpful, please take a moment 
and subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up and click that bell for notifications. I will be making more videos here coming up shortly, but I felt this one needed to be made first to sort of pave the way for upcoming videos. On that note, this is Jeremy signing off for the Practical IT channel. Thank you all for watching. Have a great day.